jump on the train, everyone. Because we are going. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> hey, everyone. Uh, 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 my name is Fanstaff, and welcome to this uh, tutorial. Yeah, I'm I'm back with another video. Yeah. Cool. Anyway, um, today, as you might have guessed from the title, um, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use, um, should I say, the test for command in 1.13 and above. And yeah, and if you're not familiar with the uh, test for command, it's basically a command that helps you, you know, find a, an entity in a specific area or position. Um, yeah, that's basically it, actually. So I can do cool stuff like this, where when I am in a specific uh, position, um, doesn't need to be a stone block, it be whatever. Um, but when I am in a specific, uh, position, it runs a, uh, a command, and it, it gives a, 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 a power, a power, a powered si a signal. Yeah, so, actually, let's try and do this. So, as you might have seen, um, if you tried it out yourself, if you do test for, which was a command before, um, it, it, it doesn't exist anymore. And that's because, um, uh, you could, uh, because, uh, because, um, the, uh, execute command was, uh, ha it, it, oh my god, I can't talk. The execute command uh, was becoming really powerful and could do a lot of stuff. So um, there was actually no need for the test com test for command anymore. So they just kind of like put them together. So you can do the same stuff with uh, execute now as you could do with uh, test for. We want a repeating command block because we want it to run this command always. So it's always testing for. Or executing this command um, and we just make it all always active just to make it easier for ourselves so let's make it right here so when you stand right here it should light and what you want to do here is you want to get the exact position of the middle of the block so you want to look in the middle it doesn't matter if you stand in the middle just look in the middle type slash tp and then just press tab three times and there you go you have the coordinates now you want to type execute into your command block you want to type if then you want to type entity and then you want to type at p which is the nearest player this bracket right here and we'll type x equals and then just paste your your uh, your coordinates yeah and then we just um remove this write a comma and we do y equals and guess what what and uh, and guess what the last one is said equals wow stop it amazing all right and uh, now if we were to uh, close the brackets and just do it like this, it would just light um, forever. Yeah, it will always light. Anyway, so we need a, a distance that we need to be um, away from this position. And now you want to write this dot dot. Very important. This dot dot, very important. If you don't write this dot and dot, then it won't work. And don't ask me why. Um, just just do it okay and then you want you might think just one because it's one block right but we have specified this um, with you know dot five oh um, so good so um, so if you if we do one block 
it goes a little bit you can see I'm standing a little bit off the block when it's still lit um, because it's uh, it's actually from the center here and then it's one block so it'd be like here and then half a block if you understand what I'm saying uh, it doesn't matter okay anyway just uh, just just do this just just do it at 1.5 and they'll work okay and now it works hell yeah um so this is um this is this is lit yeah that that's lit when i stand on the block um yeah and that's basically it so now you could add another command block um that runs a command say hey yeah, um, but actually you can do this much easier. I want to show you something cool because the execute command can do so much more. So if you make a space after this and you type run, you can actually type the command you want here and then it will run it right there. Say hey and look at that. It says hey. Isn't that amazing? You can do two commands in the same thing. Anyway, um, that's actually pretty much it. That's how you uh, you use the test for command in the in the new update. Um, you can do so much stuff with this. Um, I won't even start on it. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I I hope uh, the the video was uh, useful, and. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll, see, I'll, I'll see you guys later in my next video. Yeah.